my optimism about the two fields mm -hmm. is that, um, first of all, we're going through a very adolescent phase right now, and it's just a lot of kicking and screaming, and it's kind of, a, mm -hmm. it's just growing pains. Um, and, and, and let me say, for this project, um, I introduced myself as a mediator. I really went into collaborative to bring this process model and everything that, that mediators had learned for 30 years of groundwork to say, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. Because truly, the, the founders of the collaborative movement who came from the legal profession and even from the mental health profession, but not from a mediation background, mm -hmm saw themselves as inventing a wheel. Mm -hmm. And in that regard, they have been dismissive about and just mm -hmm. ignorant of the history mm -hmm. of dispute resolution as it's been mm -hmm. pioneered for 30 so years. So this is in some ways missionary work uh, in the legal yeah. profession. I, yeah, I've seen it that way. And mm -hmm. what happened was early on, uh, I, I a actually announced uh, in doing workshops that I don't intend to practice in this format because I, I, I like my mediation practice. And very quickly, the people who were also trying to develop this model and train in it and do workshops um, dismissed that and marginalized what I was doing as being, well, that, he's teaching mediation. He's not teaching collaborative law as though that were something different. 